Welcome back to the show, guys. You are on KTN Life and Style Artistic Thursday. And today I am joined by the lovely Juliet. We have borrowed her from KTN Burdani. How are you? You're enjoying the show? Very it's much. That's the early in the morning. We're yes. making you do a lot today. I'm energetic. Yes. Yes. Great. <laughs> Please remind them when your show on KTN Burdani is. Okay, so the main show is uh, on Thursdays, 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. And we have a repeat slot okay. on Friday, 8 a.m. And again on Monday, 7 a.m. So you don't have to miss out. Nice. That's Malezi Bora on KTN Burudani, where she is the lovely host for the show. And she takes you through all things motherhood. Now, here on Artistic Thursday, though, we are going to continue enjoying lots and lots more performances. So stick with us. Talk to us on social media using the hashtag KTN Life and Style. Hashtag Artistic Thursday.
Zacchaeus, come down. Today I will dine in your house. Yes, master. Behold, Lord, half of my wealth I give it to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I shall repay it fourfold. <laughs> so he is also he is also the son of Abraham. I don't know. Today I did not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. You know, Zacchaeus, today salvation has come inside your house. You know, friends, there was once a man from a noble birth. So this man, he decided to go to a far country to receive the kingdom. So calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten coins each. You know, some of them hated him. They sent a delegation after him saying, we no longer want this man to reign after us. So this man, after receiving the kingdom, he came back. So he called all the servants and he asked them whatever profits they had made. So the first one came to him saying, Master, I have made 10 extra coins. You know, the master was so happy and he told him, You, because you have been faithful with uh, whatever that I gave you, you shall be in charge of 10 of my cities. You know, the second one came to him saying, Master, I have made five extra coins. You know, the master was so happy. And they told him, because you have been faithful with little, you shall be in charge of five of my cities. You know, the third one came to him and said to him, Master, I knew that you are a severe man. You like to pick where you not lay. You know, the master was so angry. And he told him, you, I will judge you according to your own words. If you knew that I was a severe man, I like to pick where not lay. Why then didn't you put at least the money into the bank? It could at least earn interest. Yes, you know, the master told the other servants to take whatever that he had, to but, give to whoever who had ten coins. But he had more. He had more. You know, the master said, take the whole of it and give to the one who has more. Yeah. Because he who has more is going to be added unto him. And the one who doesn't have, even the little that he has, is going to be taken away from him. You know, the master had all those servants who hated him slain before him. When your friend strikes you, hey, hey. Sick, by whose authority are you doing all this? Yes, who gave you the authority to do all this? I will also ask you a question. I will ask. John's will baptism, was it from heaven or from men? If we say it was from heaven, he will ask us, then why did you not believe in him? And if we say from men, these people will stone us, Pharisee. Because they are already convinced that John the Baptist was a prophet. Of course, and now we have to be wise. Okay, let us tell him we don't know. Yes. Actually, we, we don't, don't know. know. Neither will I tell you by whose authority I'm doing all these things from. There was once a man from a noble bath. You know, this man had a vineyard, and then he led the vineyard to the tenants. He decided to go to a far country. So this man, after some time, he decided to send his servant to the vineyard where the tenants were to go and give him the profits that they had made. You know, the tenants, they beat the servant up, and they sent him empty-handed. The master sent yet the second servant. They treated him shamefully. They wounded him and they cast him out. The master sent yet the third servant. They wounded him and they sent him away empty-handed. Now what will the master do? The master was so angry, he said to himself, let me send my son, maybe they can listen to him. So the master decided to send his only son. As the only son of the master was approaching the vineyard, the tenants saw him and they said to themselves, this is the heir, let us kill him and the vineyard will be ours. And that is exactly what they did. They killed the only son of the master. Now the master was so angry, he went there by himself. 
took the vineyard and gave other tenants and cast out all those tenants that hated him. What then is this that is written that the stone which the builder rejected has now become the cornerstone? That whoever who falls on it will be broken, and whoever who the stones fall on is going to be crushed into pieces. This parable is against us. Now the Pharisees and the scribes were trying to kill Jesus, but they could not because he was always surrounded by people who wanted to listen to him. Now they decided to use spies, spies who pretended to be sincere. Now go ask him a question about paying tribute to Caesar. You have a coin? Yes, it's here. Okay, go ask him a question about paying tribute to Caesar. Now. Be wise. Mm, master. Good teacher. We know that you teach very well. And yes. you show no partiality. Exactly. But we have a question. Yes. Should we pay tribute to Caesar? Do you have a coin? Yes, it's here. Now show me the coin. Now whose inscription and likeness is it? It is Caesar. Caesar. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. <laughs> Moses wrote to us that if a man's uh, brother die, leaving a wife without a, home, a child, the man should take this woman in order to bear children on his brother's behalf. Now there were seven brothers. One had a wife. He died, leaving this woman with no child. The second brother took the same, same wife, and he also died, leaving this woman with no child. The third brother took the same, same wife. He too died, leaving this woman with no child. The other four brothers took the same, same wife, and they all died, leaving this woman with no child. Eventually, the woman died. Now, during resurrection, to whom will this woman be wife to? For all the brothers, Heda is a wife. No, the sons of this generation marry and they are given in marriage. And none of them is accounted worthy to attain in the resurrection of the just. You know, the angels, they are the children of God. Neither are they given in marriage, nor do they marry. They do not die. They all resurrect. Even Moses, in the case of the burning bush, he said, the Lord of Isaac, the Lord of Jacob, he is not the Lord of the dead but the Lord of the living, and everybody look up to him. You have answered well. Now, friends, beware of the Pharisees yes, who like to go in overflowing robes and the scribes. They love best seats in the synagogue and the best places in the marketplaces. Beware of them. You know, they devour a widow's house and they pretend to be inside the houses for a very long prayer. They will receive greater condemnation. Yes. yes. Then, friends, how do you say that Christ is David's son? And yet David, in the book of Psalms, mm -hmm. he says, The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right-hand side until I make the enemy a footstool for you. How then can Christ become David's son? And David says, The Lord said to my Lord. Now Jesus looked up, and he saw the rich blessing their treasures on the offering. But there was this woman who placed two copper coins. <laughs> Jesus spoke about it. This is ours. <sighs> what is he? Yes. Even if they are against us, we are rich. Mm. Truly, I say to you, that poor widow has put in more than all of them. They put out of the abundance of their hearts. But then that poor widow has put in all her savings. What? Let's get off. What about the temple? Yeah. What about the temple? Yes, it is adorned with noble stones and yes. offerings. Yes. Truly I say to you, friends, as for these things which you see, days are coming when no stone shall be left upon another. All of them, they are going to be brought down into the heads. Then when, when, will, when, we, when this, will this be and what shall be the sign? Yes. yes. Now, friends, take heed that you are not led astray. For many will come in my name, saying that I am he, and that the time is now. Do not listen to them. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and tumults, 
do not be terrified. You know, these things must first happen, but then the end is not near. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom will rise against kingdom. There will be pestilence in various places, earthquakes. But before all these things begin to happen, they will lay their hands on you. They are going to bring you before the synagogue, before the scribes, the Gentiles, and all the governors, some of them. They are going to put you to prison. But do not, do not worry on whatever that you're going to say. Because at that particular time, the Holy Spirit will give you mouth and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to contradict, to comprehend, or to withstand. Some of you, your brother, your sister, your mother, they are going to put you to death just because of my name's sake. But put this in your head. By your endurance, not even a single hair in your head is going to perish. I tell you, friends, when you hear Jerusalem surrounded by the Gentiles, know that the end has come. When you see the Gentiles around Jerusalem, no, the end has come. Woe unto those women who will be giving birth at that time. Woe unto those women who will be breastfeeding at that particular time. They are going to go down by the edge of the sword. Jerusalem will be trodden over by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles has come to pass. They are all going to fall down by the edge of the sword. Those who are inside the city at that time do not hesitate to go up. Those who are in Judea flee from that town and those who are inside the city do not go inside that town because it will be a day of desolate upon the face of the earth. This day must come to everyone who dwells upon the face of the earth. And I tell you, friends, in truth, heaven and earth will pass, but this generation will not pass away until my words have come to fulfillment. Men, men are going to faint all over because their hearts will not be able to comprehend whatever that is going to take place upon the face of the earth. At that particular time, when you lift up your eyes, you're going to see the power of the heavens. They are going to be shaken. There will be pestilence. Men will fail. Men will faint all over. There will be earthquakes in various places. And you're going to see the Son of Man coming from the clouds. Lift up your eyes. Know that your redemption has come near. This will be your deliverance. When you see a fig tree protrude from the soil, you say summer is going to be near. And yes, there is. Therefore, when you see all these things begin to happen, know that the end has come near. Do not be swayed by dissipation, drunkenness, and the cares of the world that this day will come to you so sudden like a snare. Pray, friends, pray. Pray that you'll be able to stand before the Son of Man during that day of judgment. No, I, I have honestly desired to eat with you this Passover feast before I suffer. No, I shall not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God come once again. Lord, bless this wine. I will share this between yourselves. Lord, bless the bread. I will share this between yourselves. No, I shall not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God come. Now the cup that is poured unto you is the blood of the covenant, and the bread is the body of Christ. 
always do this in my memory. Behold, the hands of he who that is going to betray me is seated with me here at the table. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man, because the Son of Man must go as it has been written. This will be the fulfillment of the scriptures. And all the Gentiles exercise lordship. And those kings over them, they call themselves benefactors. But you, you're not like this. Let the least among you be the greatest. And the greatest be the one who serves. Now between the one seated at the table and the one who serves, who is the greatest? The Son of Man is among you as the one who serves. Let the least among you be the greatest, and the greatest be the one who serves. You know, you, you have always been with me all this journey. Now, I said to you a promise that my father set out to me. Stay in the city, eating and drinking, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Simon, the devil is in need of your spirit. He wants to swift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you, Simon. In times of temptations, you are going to strengthen your brethren. Lord, I am ready to go with you at prison or at death. Simon, I say to you this day, the cock will not crow until you three times deny that you know me. When I sent you out with no bag, no pass, no swords, did you lack anything? No, master. No. But then now let those who have no sword send your mantle and get one. Look, Lord, I have two swords. Simon, it is enough. From now henceforth, the Son of Man will be rested at the right hand side with his Father in heaven. Thank you so much for sticking with us on the show. It has been so much fun. Actually, I don't even know how you could look away. I don't know whether you're traumatized. We may dance. We may chase that instrument. I've learned. Yeah. I have never touched that thing. Yeah. So it was a lesson and I enjoyed it. And it was, you know, motivating be, being taught by a, you know, a young child. Yeah, yes. and you're so good at it. <laughs> really? <laughs> you really tried. You did a good job. Now at least you can go home and say, I know how to play the African violin. Yes. I've been taught. I can figure it out. Yes. You did like a, like a song for us. True. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Guys, be sure to catch our show, Malazi Bora on Katie and Dani on Thursday, just like us. Yes. But in the evening. Yes. 7.30 to 8.30. Exactly. 7.30 8 to 8.30 to 9.30. 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. Yes. I'm sorry. On Katie and Dani on Thursday evening. And thank you so much for sticking with us here on Artistic Thursday, Katie and Life and Stuff. But don't go anywhere because you know, as usual, we are going to hand over to my girl, Nixie. I don't know what she's eating this week, but right after this is Tastes and Tales. Your tender. Yes. Kula, kula. Kula ni Nixie. Nixie. You know? <laughs> Nixie, call us, call us. Call us, let us know. <laughs> Guys, keep the conversation going the whole day. Use the hashtag KTN Life and Stuff. Hashtag Artistic Thursday. You can talk to me on my social media as well. S underscore on Twitter and Sura underscore common on Instagram. Now, have a lovely, lovely Thursday. Have a great, blessed day from me and Juliet. Goodbye.